Angela Nikodinoff of the United States skating here without her coach, Elena Cherkovskaya, a former Russian prima ballerina who less than two weeks ago lost her battle to cancer. Obviously a very emotional time in Angela's life. I keep her spirit in, in my mind and, and when I think about her, how we used to work together and um, it just kind of, is, it's an inspiration and so with this competition, I know it's going to be very difficult, but I just have to remember what she always told me and to just be strong and um, fight through it and um, just make her proud. And I'm sure she will. Angela Nikodinoff of the United States goes it alone in competition without her friend and coach, Elena Cherkoskaya. The door is open for Nikodinoff with the standings that look like this. Arena Slutskaya of Russia, she's in first. She had a fall. Sokolova of Russia in second. And another Russian, Volchkova, in third. double toe, a great way to open. laybacks because the knee and the ankle are parallel to the ice. It's traveling a little bit, but the position is exquisite. I have to say, I thought this was a very delicate performance. I was so pleased to see everything well-rounded and skated out. She didn't hold back. Required elements for Angela's short program, 5-2 to 5-6. Well, I thought she skated excellently and was very, very powerful. Her coach, Arena Rodnina, and the presentation five, scores 5-3 five, to 5-7. Five, five, she's got to be happy with that 5-7. Five, five, that certainly five, reflects five, how hard four, she's worked in this area. Three, seven, and those scores eight, good enough to put her in eight, second eight, place eight, after the ladies' short program. In the lead, it's Arena Slutskaya of Russia with Angela Nikodinov from the United States in second and Elena Sokolova of Russia in third. Right now, let's go down to Susie Wynn, who's with...